This is all work from Chile and Argentina, and um, much of that culture developed through the Inca culture and influences uh, up in that Andes mountain area, and so the, the indigenous people use very, very bright colors, and that affected the artwork down through the ages. Um, it's a very interesting blend of culture, including those indigenous uh, attributes and also the European influence and uh, even an African influence. It's a, an interesting um, blend. We think of America as the melting pot, but really Chile and Argentina are also melting pots. Uh, there's a lot of textile work that shows uh, the intricate handwork that the people do and some beautiful copper tooling work from Chile. People will see a number of graphic design posters on the wall. Those actually came from some Chilean graphic designers. And that's where the exhibit started. I met these designers when they were here at Milken University a year before. And we got talking and I said, wow, we could talk about the culture through posters. They agreed and from there I began to find people in the area who were from Chile or from Argentina or perhaps had traveled there. And you know, you find one and you find another and pretty soon I, I had a number of people who were willing to share their personal treasures. With each piece of artwork there is an explanation on a card that tells them what they're actually looking at and how it relates to the culture and the traditions and uh, maybe a little history of the countries. And so I think they'll, they'll find out um, some things that they never knew. And you can learn about their musical instruments through the display of musical instruments here. Uh, it's, it's just a great way for you to see um, a blend of both kind of ancient arts in the contemporary or in the indigenous people's work with some contemporary work. You see a contemporary painting back behind me here by an Argentine artist as well. So it's kind of a nice blending of the two worlds.